Alright, so for those of you who didn't see this already, I recently made three AFL videos where I kind of talk about, you know, the new leaked trailer that we got, I kind of break it down. I also made a separate video talking about the leaked gameplay for the new AFL 23 game as well. And then again, kind of the third one was kind of talking about, I think kind of a lot of things that we know so far, just kind of some information about the new game that a lot of people are saying is going to come out in 2023. Probably not going to be called AFL Evolution 3, more so going to be called AFL 23. But in today's video, I thought I'd kind of combine all three of them together for those of you who haven't seen and kind of show you guys the trailer breakdown, the leaked gameplay, and again, some more information, all that type of stuff, all kind of in this one big meshed up video, I want to call it compiled video, I'm not exactly too sure, but I guess without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Alright, so it's been a hot minute since I made an AFL video on this channel, I think the last time was possibly when I actually made one, I think on AFL Evolution 2, which came out in like 2020, and remember we were all so goddamn hyped about that game, and it ended up being like a copied and pasted game of AFL Evolution, which is, I mean... Jesus Christ, like Dustin Martin's haircut was like the exact same one that he had in 2011 when he was acting up with Daniel Connors. So, again, <laughs> not much has exactly changed, but we got some news that I thought, hold on a second, I've got to stop making NBA videos for one second and make this AFL Evolution video because I thought, well, just a new AFL game rather video because it, I just thought this was so interesting and so cool that we're finally getting a new AFL game, and it's actually being developed by one of the companies that made one of the best AFL games to pretty much be known to man, a game that everyone loves on God. If I was to ask my friends who they love more, me or this game, they would they would probably say the game, but there's a, a little bit to talk about. Fox Footy did a bit of an article, and of course, oh my God, I mean, every time you go on a Fox Footy article, there's just like, ads everywhere, bruv, like, there'll be an ad of Mayor Cleaver's titties over there, and ad of Sexy Land there, and then everyone knows there's always that big-ass Culture Kings ad, so, wouldn't be surprised if I see that this time as well, but again, we're gonna be jumping straight into this, it starts off by saying, new AFL video game, reportedly in the works by developers of Big Ant Studios, who made AFL Live 2011, this is Guy, this is, jeez, what the hell, why can I not speak, bruv, I've got, like, Tourette's or something, this is by a guy named Max Lawton from Fox Sports, shout out, Max Lawton, uh, a new AFL video game appears to be in the works under a new developer, marking a move away from the Evolution series, which, again, thank god, we had two of those games, and both of the games were the exact same, uh, they go on to say, though, on Thursday, local gaming outlet Press Start reported, Melbourne-based Big Ant Studios had begun work on the next officially licensed footy video game, which is going to be called AFL Evolution 3, because we know they're all fucking copied and pasted. <laughs> a series of somewhat cryptic tweets on Thursday night have made it quite apparent the game is indeed in development. Hell yeah. First Big Ant founder and CEO Ross Simmons, a big Carlton fan. Oh my god, bro. Well, he's automatically a twat. Um... <laughs> I'm joking. Everyone, everyone, calm your titties. I don't hate Carlton. I, oh, I mean, do I hate Car I don't know, but also, I don't just think this is going to be a common pace of the game. As you can tell, I'm a Richmond fan, so I'm generally just going to talk shit. Uh, but moving on, uh, he's, uh, 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 I tweeted a cryptic video and the words, I've got a feeling, and Hunters and Collectors Holy Grail playing. That song better be in this game. The company itself then quoted, tweeted Simon saying uh, that he had let the cat, lions, and tigers, etc. out of the bag, while Simon's told a fellow Twitter user, AFLW, will be more prominent than ever with 100% equal representation in the next video game. Yay. Uh. So you're telling me that Taylor Harris is going to rock out there and is going to be better than what she was in AFL Evolution 2, because I swear to God, I played my friend in AFL Evolution 2, and he played as the females, and I played as the males, and holy shit, did he tear me a new asshole. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm not that good at the game, 
but I don't. I definitely know that these women players should not be absolutely torpedoing 70 meter drop punts when I can't even kick a 20 meter set shot with Buddy Franklin. Maybe I'm just shit, to be honest. I think that's probably more of the situation. Oh my god, that's ball. That is ball. That is such. Oh my god. What the? That was a 70 meter to ball. No! No! Uh, but he does say that it's going to be full 100% equal representation, which is going to be interesting to see how that goes. He says it's also an unknown how long they have been working on this title or when it would potentially be released. The last AFL licensed game was AFL Evolution 2 and was released in April 2020. Uh, Big Ant also released one previous AFL video game, uh, 2011's well-received AFL Live, described by Games Plus Australia as the best digital recreation of the sport to come along in years though criticized for its graphics poor commentary and limited features well you've just practically summarized every afl game <laughs> like that's the thing everyone looks at poor graphics shit commentating and limited features because you can literally do the exact same things in afl live that you could do in afl evolution 2 there's no difference you still have the same shit single player mode uh, and yeah, I mean, everyone's just been asking for a My Team. I think that's why everyone's just saying the game stay the same. Because we all want a My Team. Let's be honest here, it's the big thing. Everyone's all like, when's this game going to come out? I'm quite certain, I think it will be 2023. I'm assuming, right? You would have thought they would have done a lot in 2022 and possibly worked on some of it at the end of 2021. Yet again, they could be doing all the face scans and stuff like that in 2023, making this very likely it could be like a late 2023, early 2024 thing. Uh, but you know damn well I'm still going to put 2023 in that title just to, um, you know, get some more views. Anyway. <laughs> uh, in more recent years, Big Ant has produced the Rugby League Alive, Australian Open Tennis and Cricket Series with Ladder's most recent release, Cricket 22, praised for its gameplay and critical for an overall lack of polish. The gap in quality between gameplay and graphic style is understandable given the much smaller budgets and team working on AFL video games as compared to American sports styles, which also have the benefit of being mainly yearly, so they'll be theoretically at least improved upon each season. After AFL Live, Wicked Witch Software took over development for 2013's AFL Live 2, then producing the more recent Evolution series. Fox 4 gave 2017 AFL Evolution a 6 out of 10, and they gave the sequel a, a 6.75 out of 10. AFL Evolution 2 was at least more fun to play after the three extra years of development, but still incredibly buggy, particularly in the career mode. The career mode is just so useless bro it, you're literally just running around as a character you've just built up there's no story no nothing and it's just an issue because we know the afl games are just so like they're low budget so they can't do anything uh which is incredibly sad so what they do is actually pretty good with the budget that they make to kind of say but also it's still like man i would really love to see something very soon but i, I definitely understand why they don't i mean i'm hoping this game is of course a smash here that could therefore fund future projects and a big way of doing that would be microtransactions i know we all dislike microtransactions but also it'd be kind of cool man like if you could have a my team where you just got microtransactions it would earn it would easily be the biggest earner ever because a lot of people would play my team like i know so many friends that would rather buy the game knowing that it has a my team this and that so it'd be kind of cool uh it also says that in the late 1990s, AFL games were released by EA and developed by British company Creative Assembly, who still exists today, producing the Total War series as well as Halo Wars 2. That's pretty cool. Uh, Melbourne-based IR Gurus under... What the heck am I reading there? Do I, do I need to read that? Probably not. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I know a lot of people... Some people might be saying, oh, you're kind of hating this and that. I'm not. I actually really want this game to be successful, same as I want AFL Evolution 2 to be successful. But I have generally spoken to a lot of my friends. Um, what what would it do to make you buy an AFL game? Because usually it's only about one out of seven that buy the game, right? All of them are set out of my team. All of them are set out of my team. And if they were to just literally probably copy and paste what AFL Evolution 2 was 
make it less buggy and add a my team, right? And I guess you'd have to add microtransactions, which sucks, but honestly, it'd make the games way better because you're adding microtransactions, you're clearly funding the game more and more for them to hire more staff, this and that. And again, it would just, I, I feel like it would take off. Like, I feel like that, that one out of seven would therefore become three or four out of seven just because they've added the my team and all that type of stuff. It'd make the multiplayer features so good. And I just think it'd be a really awesome thing for them to do. Again, we've yet to see any advertising for this game, so part of me thinks it might be a 2024 thing, late 2023. You'd think they'd release it before the footy season starts. So that's why I'm going to predict 2024, but also there are rumors they've been working on this game since like 2021, uh, meaning, or even late 2020, I think some people might have said, meaning that this game could literally come out still 2023. So I think it's going to be really awesome and very interesting. I'm super excited to see how this goes. I just pray this has to be the game where we get a my team, right? Like surely the AFL realizes that's the number one thing people want. It is the thing that would also, you could put microtransactions that people wouldn't be pissed about. And I think you would drag in a lot more money that could fund further development and hire more people. It would be a really awesome thing. But you know, as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Are you guys excited to see a new my career, not my career, what the frickity frack am I talking about? A new AFL game. But in light of that, something pretty cool actually came out with a dude called, I think, I think it's Bood, or oh, fuck knows how to pronounce this man, Bood Designs, I don't know, sorry dude if I absolutely butchered your name, which I'm probably pretty sure I did, but go sub to this guy, link in the description down below, if I remember. Again, sorry if I don't add it, I'm just lazy as fuck and probably will have forgotten. Anyway, this guy actually decided to release a ton of new gameplay. I don't know where he got it, but some of the stuff we actually got was really cool. And I'm kind of going to be actually taking you guys into everything that we got so far from this. And the real big thing I think so far is it actually looks like it won't be getting called AFL Evolution 3, like a lot of people were saying. Some, a couple of you guys commented saying that AFL Evolution 3 was like the early title and all this stuff, so it will be called that. It's not really how early titles work. Sometimes gaming companies slap like a random thing. Like there's literally sometimes where the game will be called like Mia Khalifa's Titties, but you don't see the game coming out being actually called Mia Khalifa's Titties, do you? No. It doesn't come out as Mia Khalifa's Titties. It will most likely come out as like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 18 or some shit, not Mia Khalifa's Double D. So off topic, because now I've got me and Khalifa's titties in my head, which, even though it's a pretty fucking sick sight, I want to talk about the new AFL stuff with you. So far, it looks like the early title is just AFL, which is... <laughs> terrific. Anyway, yeah, I don't think it's actually going to be called that. I have a feeling it's going to be called, like, AFL 20 three or something which makes a lot of sense but a couple of first things we got again we actually get the home screen which looks very very ps5 esque and when i actually looked at this i thought holy shit that's just a picture of buddy franklin and patrick dangerfield like awesome they've just copied and pasted it whatever it turns out that's actually the what the in-game players are going to look like which whoa jesus christ fair enough and this straight away tells me this game the footage that we've just seen is on the PS5 and Xbox Series X or whatever. There's no way I think an AFL company is producing that on PS4 and Xbox One. Like, we saw what AFL Evolution 2 looked like sometimes. It literally looked like it was made in a fucking toaster. Which, it doesn't surprise me if this one will probably still look the same, but you can straight away tell from that pic. The gameplay we're seeing right now looks like it's next gen. Like, that is... Yeah, it looks pretty good. And you see a couple of things. You've got Play Now. Season, Management Mode, Online, Training and Tutorials, Academy and Settings, pretty much everything we've already previously had, but then they've got Hall of Fame, I don't know what that is, I'm assuming it's not a mode, because if it was a mode, why would it be, like, lower than the North Melbourne Football Club finish every single season? Doesn't make sense, so I'm not sure what that is, maybe this is a really early development thing where they've just put it down there for the time being, so that is there of course. Then we got some gameplay, early access footage released, like looking on a really old Sony TV. 
Again, there's a couple of Collingwood Guernseys and Carlton Guernseys, I think, above it. So, whoever made this clearly likes men. Not saying that's anything bad. Don't get me wrong. You can love whoever you want to love. But I'm just saying, you, you, you like men. We, we've got all that kind of there. Early access footage. We've got, like, Isaac... Isaac, what? Who the fuck's Isaac? Isaac, I meant to say. Heaney, in one of these footage, I believe, like, touching his dick on someone. You got a celebration from Buddy. It looks like it's just, like, really the pre-game stuff. Um, we got Papley, I think that is, pushing Dangerfield in, like, the square or something. Uh, if you freeze frame here as well, there's a bunch of people, like, standing behind, wearing, watching this screen. I don't know what the fuck those shoes are, but Jesus Christ, I, I don't even know. Question for you. What are, you what are those? What? Um, you got some more. You got a footy going through. And then it just comes up with AFL coming 2023. We've also got footage of Patrick Dangerfield going for a goal. There is the new shot meter. It looks as AIDS as it always does. I don't know what it is with, like... AFL teams making shot creators, like, the, the shot fucking meters, but it always looks pretty AIDS on a stick. I don't know what it is and why it always looks like it, but, yeah, fair enough. It's there, I guess. Uh, again, the oval still looks, like, really weird. It looks very light green, like, I don't know. I guess AFL's kind of, the ovals kind of look like that. But what I really like about this, though, is... The kicking animation you see right here and the run-up actually looks like so fluent and superb. Clearly, there's already a mistake though. Like, as he kicks it, the AFL player like jumps up like four seconds delayed. But I don't know why. But yeah, and then there's also the celebration. Paddy Dangerfield going and celebrating with the crowd. Actually looks really good. Looks really fluent. I think the whole entire kind of goal run up and stuff that we're getting here another really awesome thing that i think like no one has really noticed so far as well is you act there's like a hit marker like there's literally a hit marker which is really cool you get to aim actually where you want it which is for once like legit it actually looks really good this hit marker thing i don't know it's like call of duty man um but yeah it is it is there and it looks actually legit the shot meter as i said Still looks pretty odd. And then you got Dangerfield running in for the goal. Um, it seems like there's two shot meters. I don't know why. Again, the Sydney player had like a major delay in the jump. Again, they definitely need to fix that because it just looks terrible. But again, this is probably very early. This game's probably not going to come out till like April or June maybe next year. I don't know, like a May release. Who really knows? Which is still like realistically seven months away or something like that. Like game is probably still in somewhat early development it does look like though they have been working on this game for some time obviously well over a year it seems like it's just kind of they've taken some stuff from afl evolution 2 like you can tell the oval looks very afl evolution 2 like um but the run-ups and celebrations and just the player models and designs so far actually look a lot better if i'm gonna be honest a couple other things here and there kind of go into it where it actually looks better but yeah, it does seem like this game is in somewhat early development still, but not as much as what I would have thought of. Like, for some reason, I thought it was going to look like how the GTA 6 early development footage looked like. And yeah, clearly it doesn't. Like, it still looks a lot better, which is really cool. Making me think that this game is closer than expected. <laughs> you guys did great with the first one, with the second one, and now we're back with the third one. Again... We're going to be talking about the trailer that recently got leaked for the game in today's video again. Last time we talked about the gameplay, which actually looks really, really cool. Again, they even added hit markers, bro, like it's freaking Call of Duty or some shit. I don't even know what's going on. I'm just saying, if you can whip out an AK while playing as Buddy Franklin, then I'm just I'm sold, bro. Best ever AFL game. I'm sold. Big Ant, you've done well. Anyway, we got the trailer for this game I definitely feel like this isn't necessarily complete. I don't know. It didn't really announce what consoles this was going to be on. Anything like that. There's still 
a big conversation going on right now if it will just be 100% next gen or if it will be, you know, the older generations, if it will be on PC, the Nintendo Switch, PS Vita, and the Nintendo DS for all I care. I don't even know what it's going to be on yet, but we'll have to definitely wait and see. The trailer didn't say anything. It's kind of like coming to my mind right now that there's going to be kids watching this video that probably don't know what an original Nintendo DS was, which is kind of like... That is crazy to think. But anyway, we're getting off topic here. The trailer basically starts with the AFL logo. Again, before we get into that, shout out Bood. Again, he, he or she, I don't know who, but runs it. But they commented in my comment section, you know, saying, you know, thank you, how to pronounce the name, this and that. I felt like I was in fucking English class learning how to pronounce shit again, which is great but yeah that's basically he provide or she he or she gender equality provided the footage to this and again got all the leaks this and that so yeah this time they've got the trailer starts off with an afl logo with a big ass watermark of boob designs again if you didn't know who made it now you definitely fucking do watching this we also got a logo for nacon i'm guessing that's a developer and then big ant studios right there the trailer then goes on to the AFL ground, the MCG, of course, the home of all homes. Again, it doesn't exactly look any different from AFL Evolution 2. I wouldn't be surprised if they just kind of copied and pasted that, to be honest. I, I mean, I don't mind if they're focusing on all the other type of stuff and that didn't need to be fixed. If it's broke, you don't need to fix it. Again, we've seen game companies do this before when... Wait, did I just say if it's broke, you don't need to fix it? What the fuck am I talking? I don't even know what, what's going on there. If it ain't broke, don't fix it is the actual quote. Jesus Christ, I don't know. I've, I must still have concussion from Ozkick. I, I don't know. I can't think of any other excuse right now. But yeah, it kind of looks like it was legit just copied and pasted from the last game, which is fine. Again, if they're focusing on other shit. Who cares? But the MCG is right here, looking very pretty, of course. Next thing we get is Paddy Dangerfield. Danger's looking pretty cool. I'm not necessarily sure about his haircut. His hairline does look like it's been receding for about 50 years in this game, which, I mean, a bit of a diss to him, but shit. He looks pretty good other than that. Can't really fault him there. And then, of course, they show number 30. Who the hell is number 30 for the Swans? Why am I wigging out? Again, if I do check my John Santa watch, it is 11.30 at the time I'm making this, so it's probably past my bedtime. Tom McCartan, right? I'm not even going to check it. It's someone. But anyway, he's taking a mark. Then they show what Luke's, looks to be Luke Parker. Again, number 26 for the Swans. He does look really good as well. That design looks really good. And then we've got Tom Stewart next up. Now, I don't know what it is with AFL games, like the whole entire, the graphics have looked really, really good so far, until you get to Tom Stewart, I don't know why some players just have to look like they're Casper the Ghost, like, why does Tom Stewart look like he hasn't seen the sun in at least 50 years, he literally looks like all of those day in the life of a Twitch streamers on TikTok, like, they haven't seen the sun, they live at home, all day, 24 hours, G fuel for breakfast, Basically, what I'm just trying to say is he looks like he plays Fortnite 24 hours a day, so that's it. But yeah, I don't know why he just doesn't look like he's seen the sun at all. Other than that, you see Danger again, you see the back of him. If you actually freeze frame right here, Danger's ears are like mentally challenged right now. I don't know why he looks like freaking Dumbo there, but yeah, the front on does look really good. Then we've got another close-up to what well, I don't actually know who this player is again. He's kind of looking at the ground or looking at his toe i don't really know who that is but then buddy franklin is the next one buddy looks really really good again you want to get the stars right it's something that the afl games haven't been able to do well previously i mean in the last game dustin martin still has the same haircut that he had since 2009 dusty's nearly bold now like he doesn't have the big ass mini mullet thing going on anymore so hopefully they change that in this game and make his head a little bit smaller because Again, in the last games, his head's been like eight meters tall. I don't know what's going on there, eight meters wide. But yeah, Buddy Franklin celebrates a goal here. Then we got Selwood. So I guess, I think it was Selwood earlier looking at the ground. We got Selwood going up to danger. And then again, another clip of Selwood celebrating. 
Then we've got what looks to be Brandon Parfit matching up on Isaac Heaney. You don't really get to see their face at all right there. You get to see Danger on what I think is Tom McCartan. I think, at least. <laughs> and then we got, again, Danger going for goal. That looks really good. Judging from the gameplay as well, you can straight away tell. I think they've, like, actually added animations for celebrating that actually matches the player. The walk-ups as well, like, everyone knows some players have their distinctive walk-ups when they're taking a set shot. Ben Brown decides to start, like, 50 metres back. Like, the time he gets to the goals, I've literally gone and have an eight-hour nap. I've I made some easy Mac, and I'm already sitting down watching the game with a Pepsi Max in my hand, and the bloke is still taking the set shot. So, again, hopefully they do shit like that. That'd be cool if they add some, you know, characteristics to these certain players to make it kind of seem more realistic. Because, yeah, you know the game is fucking bullshit when Ben Brown takes a set shot and he only does a five-meter run-up. You just know that's not real. Like, it just, it just doesn't happen that way. And, again, as the goal, as the ball goes through, I should say, the ball goes through the big sticks and the AFL logo comes up saying, coming 2023, play it here now. I'm guessing this is a demo thing. Again, it doesn't look like we have a date for this game yet. I'm assuming it's probably going to be around April to May next year. I think that's mainly when the previous games have all come out, if you know, I'm remembering right. But again, it is 11.35 at night. My mind is as good as someone who's on Ket right now, so not great. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's definitely an interesting thing to kind of see when this game's going to come out. Judging from the footage here, it does look pretty decent. I wouldn't be upset at all if they just kind of copied and pasted everything from AFL Evolution 2 and, of course, fixed up a lot of the players' haircut designs, you know, actually added, you know, characteristics to these players again, like Ben Brown doing the, the old 40-meter run-up. That makes sense. Add that shit to the game. Those type of players. Again, Grind Myers doing the absolutely mentally retarded kick that he always does, where he just kind of puts his leg out on a 45-degree, 180-degree angle, slams the shit out of the ball, and praise add that into the game. That's what we want to see. Again, it shouldn't be too hard, and it should make them a fair bit of money, and hopefully when they release the next game, we can obviously get the My Team, Ultimate Team stuff going. I think that would be really cool as well. But yeah, we'll definitely have to see. I think this game will be on PS4 and Xbox One, as well as the newer gens, which is going to be pretty cool as well. I think Nintendo Switch and PC, maybe. I don't know if it will be modified on the Switch. I'm assuming the graphics will be dumbed down quite a fair bit, and there'll be some type of limitations. Again, if it comes on the iPad, I'm all, all hope is lost out the window. But to be fair, some of the best AFL games have gone on the old iPad, so... I don't know what's going on there, but of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below. What do you guys think about this kind of like pre-alpha trailer thing? I don't know. Uh, definitely let me know your thoughts and opinions. Uh, go subscribe to my gaming channel, my IRL Safe Alone channel, and my podcast as well. Link in the description down below. And something I feel like I don't advertise enough is my Instagram. Again, it's pretty much the main social media other than YouTube I use. I don't like use anything else besides Instagram. So go and check that out. I'm always posting some story of some NBA clip or an NFL clip, AFL clip, this and that. So go check them out. Links will be in the description down below. But as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.